back with more. Shaft is back in Shaft's big score. Man needs a little action. What do you want from me, Shaft? If you want to see Shaft score, <laughs> you got to ask your mama again. Shaft's big score from MGM. Read it off. Open in the distance and scattering six hits. He allowed the one run in the first inning and a couple of walks set up that run. The totals are the Angels three runs, 11 hits, no errors. The Angels stranded nine. The Twins had one run, six hits, and no errors. And the Twins left five men on base. There's Del Rice, and uh, he says hello to the chairman of the board, Gene Autry, and Mrs. Ina Autry, Lloyd Allen, with a smile for the boss. And he brought good luck to his ball club as he sees the Angels win their 101st against 100 losses and play against the Minnesota Twins. And a cowboy fan down below to get the autograph of Mr. Gene Autry. Nolan Ryan. His uh, record now reached six it. and seven. The attendance tonight, 6,815. We had one home run, Ken McMullen, his fourth of the year, no one on in the second inning. And we had one very long triple by Nolan Ryan himself, a 440-foot shot to center field in the seventh inning. Sandy Alomar followed with a base hit, and that gave the Angels a 2-1 to -one lead. They patted it with a run in the eighth inning on a double by Veda Pinson and Jim Spencer's line drive single to right. So this series is even. At a game apiece, the road trip now squared away at 3-3. Three and three. And tomorrow, two of the finest left-handers in the American League, Clyde Wright, 8-3, and three, and Jim Cott, 9-2, and two, will be matched against each other. And let's hope the Autries will stay around for that one. And we invite George Putnam News. Final again, Angels 3, Minnesota 1. help in the fight against the hook. Ford introduces the Motocraft Long Life Premium Battery. Years of power packed in tough polypropylene. Motocraft for long life in any kind of car. Uh -oh. Motocraft helps keep you off the hook. Welcome, Motocraft. Welcome. Angels Wrap Up with Fred Gallagher, brought to you by Household Finance. Never borrow money needlessly. But when you need to borrow, trust HFC. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Angel Wrap-Up. Nolan Ryan, not especially effective tonight, but a six-hitter to run his record to 8-5. and five. The winner is the California Angels defeat the Minnesota Twins 3-1. to one. Ken McMullen had a home run to even the ball game. Ryan helped himself at the plate with a triple. He later scored the go-ahead run. The Angels added an insurance run in the eighth. The final, the Angels 3 and the Twins 1. We'll recap tonight's game, take a look at some videotape highlights, and check the scoreboard right after this very brief timeout. What do you do when you're out of town? Let's say you're on vacation, and something happens, and you need some extra money in a hurry. If you're a household finance customer with established credit, you rest easy, because you can borrow from any HFC office, and there are over 1,600 of them throughout the U.S. and Canada. Just visit the one nearest you for your loan away from home. All our offices are connected by a computer network, too, so you can have the money you need computer quick. When you need to borrow, remember this about household. At HFC, you get more than cash. You get cash credit nationwide. And with over 1,600 offices, we're where you are when you need us, ready with the money you need. At Brief. household finance, Time out. borrow up to 10... <laughs> This week, TV Guide goes behind the scenes of an evening news program. The man who puts it all together is the assignment editor. A look at how his decisions at 10 a.m. determine what you'll see at 6 p.m. Interesting reading in TV Guide. Carew had an RBI single in the first inning, and the Twins jumped off to a one to nothing lead. It didn't last too long, however, as with one out in the second inning, Ken McMullen comes up for the California Angels. McMullen at the plate now, and the score is one to nothing. The Twins in the lead. Jim Perry on the mound for the Minnesota Twins. The count is now 3-1, and one, and as you could see by that shot behind the mound, he grooved it to Ken McMullen, and McMullen drove it deep into left field, well back into the seats, about 380 feet for McMullen's fourth home run of the year. 
and his 16th RBI of the season also for Ken McMullen, and that even things at one and one. In the Twins' fourth, Harmon Killebrew opened with a single to left field. And when Steve Braun found the alley in right center with a double, Nolan's Ryan, Nolan Ryan's future looked in somewhat in doubt at that point. Then a rarity in baseball. The Angels pulled off a triple play. Let's pick up the action with Don Wells calling the play for you, and he gets pretty excited about it as well he might. Minnesota trying to stir up matters, and Ryan trying to check him. 2-2 delivery. Slices it to left field. Spencer. Jim grabs this one off and then fires toward the plate. The runners will hold. They've got a jam up. And set me playing second and third. And Sandy Adamar will get the double play. Throw over to third. They've got him out there. Triple play. Harmon Killebrew involved in the triple play. A fantastic triple play. All right, let's take another look at it again, and it was a fantastic triple play as Nettles hits the ball to what you might call medium left field. Spencer in only his fourth game in the outfield in the major leagues. Throws it perfectly to the plate. It's cut off by Bob Oliver to Sandy Alomar. Watch Braun now. He just virtually stops and make that an easy out for Alomar. Now the heads-up play by Cardenas covering third.